Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I am about to do a huge toy clean out in the playroom. I'm just over, I'm over this. The playroom is always a disaster. Chase makes a huge mess all the time. He just takes all his toys out. They're all over the floor and I can't even walk into the room. Like, let me show you what it looks like. This is the status of the playroom right now. This is like a combination room. If you guys are new to my channel, this is like the playroom. I also have laundry in here sorted. Um, my dog's pee pad and everything is over there. Just ignore that. I have like a clothes hanging rack here where I hang wet things to dry. Um, and I keep some of our clothes down here too in those drawers over there. That has to stay in here, but I am going to take a lot of the toys out. As you can see, they're just scattered all over the floor. And last night it wasn't even this bad. It was a little bit better than this and it still got to me and I was just like, no, I need to do something. So, and then this, like I can never like, a lot of times there's like more toys like right here. So I can't even like walk over here and open the closet door. I'm always just like pushing it into stuff. So yeah, this is not working. So what my plan is, is to take this toy box and put it upstairs in Chase's room, but I'm going to put I'm going to fill this up with stuff that I'm taking out of the room. So I'm only going to keep this shelf in here and just put a few toys, like a few. I don't know exactly how many, but not a lot. And then this toy box will be full with other stuff and it will just go up into his room. The kitchen and that bin of play food over there, I'm going to keep it here because he plays with it a lot and I really don't have another spot for that. It's kind of like a big thing, so that's going to stay in here. But yeah, I'm just going to get started. I have Noah asleep and Chase asleep, so I have about an hour. Hopefully this won't take too long, but yeah, here we go. So the first thing I did was clean up the room, get everything off the floor, and put all the toys back in the containers that they belong in. everything off of the shelf and laid it out on the floor so I could see exactly what was there. Alright, so I've got everything off of this shelf pretty much aside from this. I'm gonna go through this stuff and decide what I'm gonna keep in here. I already know a couple things that I'm keeping, but before I put anything back up on this shelf, I'm gonna go ahead and dust it off real quick. I just started going through all the toys and deciding which ones I wanted to keep in the room and which ones I wanted to put up in Chase's room to go into a toy rotation. here is my progress so far. This stuff right here is stuff that I'm going to be bringing upstairs to his room. Just some stuff that he hasn't really been playing with lately, so I think it's okay to take it out of the room. I might change my mind on... I mean, I could always change my mind on something, and then you'll see that at the end, but I'm pretty sure this is the stuff that I'm going to be taking out. And then this stuff over here, I think is stuff I'm going to keep in the room. And it sucks because some stuff is really big, like this dump truck, he loves playing with that. And then this Paw Patrol carrier thing, I don't even know, but he's been playing with that every day. So I gotta leave that in here. And then this, I just built this with him the other day, a little marble run, and he's been having fun with that for right now. So I'm gonna leave that too. Some puzzles I'm gonna leave because I like to do puzzles with him. I mean, a lot of the time he'll ask me to play and I really don't feel like making cars talk and playing pretend and stuff. So. I like to have some stuff that I enjoy doing with him, and puzzles is one thing that I don't mind doing with him, so I'm definitely gonna leave those down here. And this is a tugboat that he plays with in the bath, so I'm gonna leave that. 
the Legos, I think I'm going to leave, but I want to find a different bin. Like, I need to figure out the bin situation because I bought a bunch of these bins from Target. I think they're like 12 by 12, and they fit perfectly in this cube thing, which is from Walmart. I think the cube thing is from Walmart. Um, they fit perfect, perfectly, but they kind of fit a little bit too perfectly. Like, like you can see how well it fits in there, but it almost fits a little too well because when he pulls the bin out, like to play with something, he won't be able to get it back in sometimes. And what he's been doing, what I've been noticing is that he'll pull the Lego thing out and then he can't like get it back in there. So that's why I think I want to figure something else out for the Legos. But right now I need to go through this giant bin of cars. <laughs> he has so many toy cars, like it's ridiculous. This bin is more than half full and keeping them all down here at the same time has not been working out because he just takes them all out and then there's cars all over the floor. So I think I'm going to try to sort these into categories or something and then he can pick out like a certain category of toys to play with at a time. That's the only thing I can think of right now that might work because having all of them down here just hasn't been working so I feel like I need to try something new. So I'm going to try to sort those cars and pick well, I don't have enough bins right now to sort all the cars into bins, so I'm probably just going to sort them, pick a category, and keep those down here, and all the other ones will go upstairs. And then eventually, uh, I'd like to find like bins for all of them, and then he can just like pull out a bin of cars that he wants to play with, or maybe two if he wants to pick two, but two is probably going to be the, the limit. <laughs> Jump into the car on a Friday night I wanna drive with you Looking for a bar in the nearest town I've never seen a sky so blue his cars into four bins I think I want to get just like the clear bins with the lids for these but I don't have enough right now um, but this biggest bin is full of mostly these kind of chunky big cars they're like push cars like friction cars pretty much all of these in here are friction cars um, some of them some of them came in like different sets of them or whatever but they're all pretty much like that and then this bin here is a tram car toy that we got on vacation and I don't know maybe I might leave this down here for him because this is still kind of new I think I might leave this down here um, this bin is all Hot Wheels cars and he actually has more than this but they're upstairs there's a hair <laughs> I have to vacuum but yeah all Hot Wheels cars in here some of them are a little bit bigger but they're all Hot Wheels aside from this one I don't think that's a Hot Wheels that's a John Deere like tractor thing or whatever but I felt like it fit best in that bin and then these are all like Melissa and Doug little wooden cars so yeah all of these are gonna go upstairs for now and then these four are the ones I'm gonna let him have out for right now this one he just got the other day these are all kind of the same I think the same company makes these he found them at Target um, but we have a police SUV a police car an ambulance and a fire truck so those are the ones that I'm gonna leave out for him All the toys that I wanted to take out of the room, I just started putting back into the toy box so I could slide the whole thing out of the room with everything already in it. Just really doing nothing, that's the thing I like about you. Mm. On the highway, it's our way, Route 66, and we keep on driving, we just do. Okay, so this was in the toy box. This is... I forget the name of it, but I'll try to leave it on the screen, but it's like a coloring, like you color the little animals and then you give them a bath and a little, little tub thing or whatever. Um, this is more like a activity rather than a toy. So I'm going to put it in the closet over here. I have like kinetic sand in there and markers and crayons and some other stuff. So I'm going to put that in there and just keep it down here because it's a good thing to, you know, just pull out on a rainy day when I really just need something to keep them occupied. So yeah. 
so this is all the stuff that I'm taking out of his room or the playroom. Um, big bin of ball or big bin of cars. Um, some random bunch of like random little toys in here. That's empty. And then all of this stuff is going to go upstairs. And then I think this is the stuff that I'm going to be keeping down here. I don't know. I'm going to put everything onto the shelf. And if I still feel like it's too much, then I might take something away. But this is what I have so far. What we want to do, yeah, no, nothing's complicated. So this is a gingerbread house play tent that they got for her. Chase got it for Christmas. He still likes to play with it sometimes, so... I'm going to leave this down here. I'm just going to stick it behind the little toy kitchen. So here I was just putting everything back onto the shelf and just trying to figure out how I wanted to arrange everything. So I think what I'm going to do with these Legos to make them more easily accessible for him because he has a hard time like pulling the spin out and then putting it back in is I'm going to take the Legos, put them in the play food basket. This is like a soft, flexible bin thing and then I'm, I'm just going to switch the two of them and that way I should be able to put the bin on the bottom or like maybe in the middle or something and then he could pull it out and push it back in easily but I think I actually want to get something that's clear for the Legos, maybe, so he can see what's inside of it. Because I feel like, I don't know, I kind of just like him to be able to like see what's in the bins. Kind of like he can see what's in all of those bins. So, anyway, but for now, I think that's just what I'm going to do. So this tugboat toy, I'm actually going to keep in the closet. Um, I just want it to be like, I don't want it to be out all the time, I just want it to be something that he only sees when he takes a bath, so that it's like, kind of exciting, or whatever, so, yeah, instead of just having it with all the rest of the regular toys, I'm gonna put it, put it away in the closet so that it's just a bathtub toy, and also, that'll allow me to find these cars, because it keeps asking for both of the cars at bath time, and I can never find them, because there was a million cars down here, so, this is gonna go in the closet. It's just the way that I get every time that I am with you. Mm. So this is what it's looking like right now. I got the toy box out of here, so that is gone. Um, and the marble run is just up here for right now. I'm going to keep it, keep that on the floor because I don't want him trying to bring that up and down because he'll drop it and then I'll have to build it again. But this is what the toy shelf is looking like right now. He had been asking to bring that uh, like wooden truck down, so I let him bring that down. And yeah, those are all the toys that I have on here. I kind of still feel like it's too much. I don't know, it looks like too much to me. But for right now, that's what it looks like. And then I do still have those two trucks that are just kind of there right now because he was just playing in here. But I have to vacuum real quick because it really needs to be vacuuming, vacuumed in here. And I could never vacuum before because it was always a mess, so let's do that. Your laughter takes me to heaven. I just want to make you repeat it and repeat it again. Yeah, you make the sky so blue. No, nothing's complicated with you. Hey, playing songs on the video. Sing along to the words that we don't know how. Brings out the loudness. Let's just. It's the next day now. I wasn't able to finish everything yesterday during nap time and before like the day started back up again so I had to take a break but I did a little bit more last night and I finished everything else up this morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the after. I'm pretty happy with how everything turned out so take a look. So this is the after and I think it looks so much better. I got rid of a lot of toys. Well, I didn't get rid of anything. Let me rephrase. I moved a lot of toys. Chase's room is a disaster right now. There's a ton of toys in there that I didn't have a chance to put away yet, so I still have to work on that. But at least the playroom is done. 
and yeah so this is what it looks like this table was actually Madison so I've had it for all three kids so far and it was up in Chase's room and he never did anything with it like he's never really up there he doesn't play up there too much but I figured I'd bring it down and put it where the toy box was that way I don't know it's just another area for him the table is all marked up from Madison I do eventually want to put like I think I'm gonna try to put contact paper down on here to kind of cover that up so it can be like nice and white again but I figure he can sit here I put some books out here, maybe he'll look at some books. I have the marble run up here, and I don't know, it's just instead of always playing on the floor, now the little table is down here, and I do want to get another chair. I only have one chair, but for now I think one is good. Whenever Noah starts walking, another chair would probably be nice, so, but just one chair for now. Then this is the cube storage unit. I love how this looks so much better. I'm kind of bummed out that I didn't like those bins that I got, but I'm sure I'll be able to repurpose them somewhere else in the house. But I felt like they were just too, they were too tight of a fit in here for him to be able to pull them out and put them back in and see what's inside of them and everything. So I like how this is working much better. I just have like some random baskets that I already had. I want to try to get, maybe I'll get like matching ones at some point. But for right now, that's what I've got. And we just have like those cars this is paw patrol i did have the tram car toy in here but he decided that he wanted his matchbox cars so we have those and then down here i have peppa pig house mr potato head um lego duplo and then he really wanted this down here it's just a wooden shape sorter truck so he has that and then on top I just have three of his puzzles. These are the ones that are age appropriate for him. Right now we did have some other ones that were way too easy and just like not challenging at all for him. But these are perfect. They're just the right amount of tricky. So he's got that one. And then this one. It's a little farm. And then this one is like four puzzles in one. So yeah, and I laid them all out like separately. I did have them stacked on top of each other and just like in the corner over here, but I figured this is easier for him to just grab them and put them back. And then his big dump truck, I still have that down here. I got that for his birthday, so... and his birthday was just a couple months ago, so I don't think we were ready to put that upstairs yet, so that's still down here. And then over here is just the toy kitchen with the play food in that bin and then the Paw Patrol car is just there. I just put it off to the side for now to show you guys. He was playing in here but yeah I don't really have a spot for that it's one of those like big bulky toys that are annoying and there's nowhere to put it so I just have it right there so there's the new and improved playroom I feel like it looks so much better and I feel like my stress level has gone down whenever I enter this room so I think that's a good thing but yeah it was definitely a good time clearing out all the toys in this room if I have a tip if I have one tip for you guys it would be like if you're gonna do this a toy declutter clear out in your own house I would say don't don't throw anything away like at first like I didn't I only threw one thing away and it was koosh balls because they never play with them and they had hair all inside of them and I just didn't have time to be cleaning that so I, would, I just got rid of those but I didn't throw out anything else I just put everything into a different spot away upstairs in Chase's room so I didn't have that stress of oh Am I throwing away something that he's going to ask for in a week or a month or something? Like, I didn't have to think about that at all because I kept everything. I just emptied out the room. So that is one big tip. And I think one more tip would be to not get hung up on... Don't let yourself get too hung up on what you're keeping in the room because you can always change it. What I did and what I feel like made it easier was I just, like, went with my, my first initial reaction. I would, like, pick up a toy and be like, is he playing with this right now or has he played with this recently and if he's if it's something that he had been playing with I didn't take it away I kept it in the room just don't let yourself get hung up on what should I keep in the room and what should I take out of the room it doesn't really matter because you're not getting rid of everything you still have everything you can always change your mind just clear out a lot of the toys leave some of the stuff that your kids have been playing with recently maybe leave a couple of things that they haven't touched in a while that maybe you want to say like hey do you remember this toy maybe you want to play with this one I did that with Mr. Potato Head I put that out um yeah, I think those are my two main tips for you guys if you want to try this in your own house. And I love it. I think it was one of my one of my best de decisions. Greg thinks that I'm going to regret doing this, but I do not see how I could possibly regret having less toys to clean up and less mess. So, I don't know. I mean, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I feel like it's going to be a really good change, and I'm happy that I did it. And it looks awesome in here. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.
Bye.